Students, welcome to Shorosis classes and this is TIFR 2020 solution. Today we are going to solve mostly the real analysis based portions. Uh, first few questions are from real analysis, a big portion from that. So consider the first question if you see, consider sequence a n n equal to 1 and b n n equal to n equal to 1 to infinity is given by a n equal to 2a to the power n plus 3 to the power n 1 by n and b n is this. So what is the limit of b n n equal to 1 to infinity? So let's see limit n tends to infinity a n equal to 3. So limit n tends to infinity 1 by a n equal to 1 by 3 in this way we can write. Now if a n converges to l maybe then this xn where xn equal to a1 plus a2 dot 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 a n by n this also converges to the sum of these so that is limit n tends to infinity a n equal to l or limit n tends to infinity a1 plus a2 dot 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 a n by n equal to also l so now limit n tends to inf a 1 by n is this this portion so similarly limit n tends to infinity 1 by a 1 1 by a 2 1 by a n by n is also this one third now if we take the b n part that is n by summation of 1 by a i so obviously limit n tends to infinity b n will be limit will be applied over here so 1 by so this n goes down and summation of 1 by a i directly from here so 3 1 by 1 by 3 hence 3 so the answer to this question is b next one Consider a set of continuous function f of 0 to 1 equal to r to satisfy this. So the cardinality of the set. So we have to find out the cardinality of the set. Okay. So fx is a continuous function such that f of 0, 1 is belongs to us. So 0 to 1 f of x. So let's calculate from this 0 to 1 f of x. minus f of x whole square this we can write dx equal to 1 by 4 that is 0 to 1 1 by 4 dx implying this in both sides okay so now this part integration 0 to 1 fx whole square minus fx plus 1 by 4 this dx equal to 0 so 0 to 1 so this is a square minus 2ab plus b square so fx minus half whole square dx equal to 0 now using the result if uh, using the result if g is continuous within this g is continuous on a to b and g of x is greater than equal to 0 in the closed interval a to b and a to b gx dx equal to 0 then gx equal to 0 for all x belongs to a to b so now gx equal to fx minus half whole square so now gx satisfies all the condition given result so gx equal to 0 for all x in, in the closed interval 0 to 1. Now f of x minus half square equal to 0 for all x within this closed interval. Okay. Now all we can do is we can write fx equal to so half. Hence the cardinality is happening with respect to single time. So cardinality equal to 1. So answer is 